I'm Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with the cast of Brush. Hi guys, how are you doing? Morning. Yeah, very well. So tell us a little bit about your show. Uh, well, it's a, a piece of new writing, and it's um, essentially about a couple of struggling artists yeah. who are struggling to make money from what they love doing. It's probably quite apt that we're, uh, yeah, that we're doing it at the free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's basically, it covers sort of like the relationship between them and the sort of jealousy that happens, the... There's a bit of self-pitying in it. it. It focuses on both the characters each. They have both have a monologue each, which sort of gives the audience an opportunity to sort of see how each of them feel, and then it sort of comes together at the end where you see everything wraps up together. And yeah, then, a lot of secrets, mm. a lot of secrets, and a lot of hidden desires and things come come to the fore. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's powerful script. You know, we've had really good feedback, and it's um, I think it's something that. It takes some unexpected turns along the yeah. way, which is always a nice thing. So obviously the show deals with the relationship. What do you want an audience to get out of the relationship that you portray? What are you hoping they're going to leave with? Well, I hope they believe it, really, yeah. uh, more than anything. You know, um, We've had a lot of great feedback in terms of that. You know, A lot of the reviews yeah. have been very kind and said, you know, complimented the, the script, which is fantastic. And uh, and us uh, <laughs> too as well. And I just hope they believe us, you know. Um, and Acting, yes. <laughs> feeling, yeah, feeling something really. Yeah. Um, well, also, just the believability and the connection with the characters, which you know we want the audience to sort of have a connection with the characters, even if they don't necessarily agree with what they've done or they don't like them as much, but just have a connection with them to to understand why they do what they do, to sort of understand the process and to understand the complexity of sometimes relationships between people. So. So this is your first show as this theatre company, am I right? Mm. Have you guys performed here before on your own? I have, yeah. Yeah, both. we have, yeah, both have at different times. Um, uh, we're, it's formed from whole university graduates and they have a kind of um, a process in place where all the first year students at whole university bring shows up as a collective company every you know, to get experience, to, to come up here and, and see stuff. As well, yeah. So. And so myself and the other co-founder, uh, Ben, both graduated last year. And Danny's just graduated this summer, along with the writer, Mel. Um, and so it's kind of a collaborative effort of bringing in different people that we knew from there. Uh, it's made in conjunction with a, a very talented filmmaker that we both graduated with as well, yeah. Alex. Um, yeah, and so it's, we, we all know it's each like other from there. It's the start of the, of the yeah. company. Yeah. So do you think it's important for students, um, drama students, to experience the Fringe? Do you think it's a good learning curve? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, e even regardless of the, the performance aspect of it, coming up here and getting to expose yourself to yeah. so many different things, good and bad, you know. You Quite scary. Yeah, yeah, but a great learning curve because you go away from here with a, a head full of ideas, of inspirations, of things you've seen that maybe shape the way that you go on to work yourself. And so I think it's a great learning ground, basically. So, yeah, but I mean, also seeing bad stuff helps a lot as you can just learn a lot from that. Yeah. But I mean, half the stuff I saw in my first year coming here, I mentioned it all in essays and stuff I wrote and stuff I wanted to do in the future, just little bits and bobs. You get to see all sorts of a wide span that you wouldn't usually see. So Fringe is definitely something I'd recommend to any drama student. So what have you enjoyed about the Fringe most so far? Have you had any amazing moments or seen anything amazing? My list has actually mainly been left for the last two weeks. You know, I've been waiting to look over reviews and see what's good to make sure I'm, I'm picking out, you know, cherry picking if you like. But we've seen some really good things. Summer Hall's one of my favourite venues to go and hang around in. We've seen some really interesting and, and disturbing <laughs> interesting. things at Summer Hall that have been really, yeah, good, you know, just to, to witness. For me personally, my favourite thing about the French Safari has just been performing just yeah. every night doing you're doing such a long run and you have to change it up each night and make sure you keep it fresh for yourself and for the audience so that in itself has been a, just a huge experience for me to just learn how to keep the motivation and to keep energy exactly yeah, yeah. so just yeah, keep it challenge. going mm. okay excellent great well thank you for talking to me where can we catch brush see nova uh every day 7 40 uh for another 12, 12 shows. performances, yeah. Okay, wicked. Thank you so much for chatting to me. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.